Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm back on my vlog camera today because I asked in my last video if you prefer that and everyone said yes. So here we are back on my vlog camera, but today I'm gonna do an updated shoe collection video. I haven't done one of these in two years and the last one I did was quite a different format and I actually wanted to talk you through and kind of review the shoes that I wear all the time. So I'm gonna start with heels because heels are the most exciting shoes to me. I don't really buy that many boots and things like that as much as I do heels and I never really buy flats or like trainers. Oh wait, I have one pair of trainers. The first ones I haven't actually shown in a video yet I don't think these are little Aquazura powder puff pumps. I mean, I don't actually know what they're called. They're not called powder puff pumps, but because they have a little pom pom on them, I feel like they're like a bit power puff girls, if anyone remembers that. I was eyeing these up for a while. I think they're so sweet. They're kind of hit and miss. I know some people love them and some people hate them and think the pom is kind of stupid, but I just think they're really sweet and fun and I didn't actually have a red shoe and I didn't want to buy something like the Le Pigal, which is just like all red. As you know, I got those as a gift a while ago. I actually returned them. <laughs> I am like Rachel and friends is that if I'm not gonna wear something and it's a gift I do return it <laughs> Is that bad? I'd prefer that than like it goes to waste, you know Anyway, I just thought these were a bit more fun with the actual pom on them They are a bit of a sling back, so I don't find them super super secure They're on the tightest hole there is and this is my correct size in Aquazura shoes I wouldn't be able to run in these put it that way I do have a few pairs of shoes that I would be very comfortable and I have actually run in like my YSL trivs Which I'll put in now but in terms of a pointy heel as far as the point goes that's super comfortable. Speaking of super comfortable pointy heels, I <laughs> have a bit of an addiction with these Manolo Blahniks. I got these pink ones first. As you know, they're so beautiful. They're so comfortable. They're just like the best, best, best statement shoe. I look down at my feet and I just get so excited because they're just so, so gorgeous and beautiful. The denim ones, I don't actually wear as much. If I was gonna recommend to buy a pair of these, I would say buy a statement pair, especially if you're someone that wears a lot of black or a lot of plain outfits. These ones I actually bought in a sample sale and I haven't actually got around to wearing yet. I bought them in a winter sample sale and they're quite a summer shoe. So I feel like hopefully this summer I'll get more use out of them. These you will have seen in my most recent haul. I actually wore these yesterday and I loved them. They were so comfortable. They're so easy to wear because this strap of the mule is quite high up your foot. Your foot does feel secure in it. I was quite worried about that, especially with mules. I feel like the color is actually really easy to wear, especially for me that wears like a lot of pastels and pink. Again, Aquazura pointy heels are so comfortable. There's something about the point in Aquazura. It's quite a wide point. So it's not like the ones that are super uncomfortable, the Louboutin Pigal like quite a like tiny 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 point so your feet just totally die as soon as you put them in these ones are actually really comfortable speaking of Louboutins these I bought maybe this time last year I love the shoe they still actually have the shoe for sale oh my gosh it's the most beautiful beautiful elegant heel it has a little crisscross at the front which I think is so unique and then a little mesh lace these are actually much more comfortable than the Pigals I feel like because the toes are quite open you get quite a lot of toe cleavage I can't really wear them for more than four or five hours whereas the Manolos I could probably wear for like eight hours or something like that the Pigals I could probably wear for like two <laughs> two to three like maximum. Your foot does feel really secure in them because of the cross strap over the front. These I actually bought and I copied my friend Philippa that Charlotte Olympia heel. They create quite a bit of love and hate at the same time. I feel like people either love them or hate them. They have lips on the front of the toe, which I love. I think it's so cool. I have seen like a full Swarovski version. These ones just have Swarovski crystals on the actual lips. And then I have seen the leather version, which I actually prefer. That's the ones my friend Philippa has. They are surprising surprisingly comfortable to walk in. I know they don't look it at all, like the heel is so high, it's like the length of my hand, but they are actually surprisingly comfortable. I feel like because of the platform at the bottom. I like the color combination as well because I feel like it goes with a lot in summer and winter and the satin makes it quite a formal shoe as well. This shoe, I can't honestly decide if I love them or I hate them. They're from Aquazura. Aquazura is honestly one of my favorite, favorite shoe designers as you can probably tell in this video. However, they, do cut off your circulation quite a bit, as you can see with all this string situation. I love the color and I love the shape. I love the style. I think they're just such gorgeous shoes. I think a shoe like this has a tendency to be quite aggressive, but because of the nude, they still feel and look quite elegant, but they are just quite a pain to put on, take off and actually wear. <laughs> but as you saw in my closet clear out video, I still love them and I still wear them anyway, despite all of that. Last but not least for heels, I guess this is kind of like heels going into flats category, are these Chanel pumps. 
Oh my gosh, I love these shoes so much. I feel like I haven't worn them in ages and I'm definitely gonna take them away with me this weekend because they're just such a beautiful, classic, elegant shoe. They are so comfortable to wear. I could wear them for hours and days on end. And I really just feel like a lady when I wear these. They do have them in quite a lot of color variations as well. I'll leave a few links below online as with everything I'm mentioning to a few of my favorite colors. As you know, the only flats I'm really interested in are like fancy flats. I don't really wear like... <sighs> I don't know even how to describe it. Like I'm trying to think of other flat shoes. Like I don't really even wear trainers that much unless I'm like walking my dog or if I'm wearing trainers, I'm wearing those kind of trainers, like Nike or whatever kind of workout trainers. The only trainers I actually do have and have bought are these Golden Goose studded trainers, which I love. I wear them a lot when I travel. They're so amazing. They're such a statement trainer. Like they're quite cool. They can really dress up an outfit. They did take a lot of wearing in. I think I put these in my most unworn purchases of last year because they took so long to wear in and only recently have I actually worn them in. I feel like only in the past like month or so have they actually started to get semi-comfortable. And the other annoying thing about them is you do need like a pop sock kind of thing, which I always lose. I always lose these like silly pop socks because the trainer is quite low. It kind of shows if you're wearing socks underneath the trainer and I don't really like that look. As you know, the Charlotte Olympia flats are my favorite, the kitty flat. I had the black ones for ages and I wore them to death death until I wore them in the rain and they totally got battered. But I have two other colors. I have this red velvet, which is the sweetest because they have little star eyes on them. And these are the most comfortable, 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 comfortable flats that I own. I could wear them forever. I could like go on a hike in them. I also have this nude pair, which I wear loads, especially I think I'll be wearing them a lot in summer. But actually I think I prefer the velvet pair. They are honestly as comfortable as flat. Look how much I've worn them. They're as comfortable as it gets. Like it doesn't get better than that flat for me um, but I recently got these Miu Miu flats which you will have seen in my recent haul again I feel like this is quite a love it or hate it shoe and the first time I saw these I hated them I thought they were so ugly but then the more I wear them the more I'm like actually these are kind of cool and quite different there are so many different ways to wear them you can really mix it up they give you a little uh, ribbon with it so you can really mix it up with the ribbon do like one different ribbon on each foot you can not have the ribbon at all like how I'm holding them now another pair of flats that I think are really sweet that are actually velvet. Oh, I'm getting like whacking myself with these shoes. Are uh, these little butterfly shoes from French Soul. I used to wear French Soul ballet flats a lot back in the day. The quality of French Soul shoes is so, so beautiful. I just love these little butterflies. One is blue and then one is green. I don't wear these as much as my Charlotte Olympia ones. I find the Charlotte Olympia ones more versatile. In terms of sandals, the only sandal I really wanted to show you that I bought was this one because to be honest, all the sandals I bought that I wore last summer, I completely ruined. I wore them so much that I ended up having to get rid of them at the end of the summer because they were just like curved to the shape of my foot. I bought these ones recently for this summer. These are the Saint Laurent. I think they're actually called the Trib Flats and I cannot wait to wear them. I will report back on how comfortable they are in terms of the fact that they only hold the front part of your foot if that makes sense because I feel like that could get a bit annoying but also I love that they're just slip on as you know these Valentino sandals I'm putting in now I wear a lot but they're not slip on. Another shoe that I have bought loads of are the Stuart Wiseman or just general actually over the knee boots. I now have way too many Stuart Wiseman colors than I would like to admit that I have but to be honest they are the best best over the knee boot that I've found. I tried this one which is from Strategia. I bought these this autumn and I love the color. I love them so much. They have stretched out quite a bit. They still hug my legs really nicely but they do fall down because they don't have a ribbon at the back. The Stuart Wiseman ones have a little ribbon at the back so you can tie them tight at the top so they don't fall so you're not constantly pulling them up. That's the only thing I found about this. The Stuart Wiseman don't actually do this shade and these are also actually half the price of the Stuart Wiseman ones but still just as great quality. The Stuart Wiseman boots really they are such an investment but they last years and years and years. I think I bought my first pair when I was still in school and <laughs> now I'm 25 so that's like you do the maths. Actually one pair I spilled petrol all the way down it when I was filling up my car. I left it outside for like two days to dry and like de-stink and it actually fully recovered. Like this boot that was covered in petrol fully recovered. I don't know how that happened but it was just 
unbelievable because I could still wear this boot and it didn't even smell of petrol anymore and it wasn't stained. It was so weird. Something I actually did want to recommend, I know this is like technically a designer shoe collection. This isn't designer. These are public desire. I talk about these all the time because they're around 30 pounds, but they're such great dupes of the Balenciaga shoe, which I have slagged off about a thousand times because <laughs> they are so bad. Don't buy them. <laughs> those were a shoe that I bought maybe in September time. They lasted about a couple of weeks. So I just wanted to throw this in here in case you are considering the Balenciaga shoe. Don't do it. A shoe that I bought in the winter sales were these boots from uh, I think they're from Margiela actually. Yeah, Maison Margiela. They're little snowshoes. They have a tiny little heel on them. They're not the most practical, although they're snowshoes because they are suede. So they do get a bit stained around the front. So when I was actually walking in the snow with them, I was like tiptoeing around, like trying not to get any actual snow on the shoe, if that makes sense, or rain or anything. So they're definitely a more fashion-y shoe, but what I like is you can have them rolled up or rolled down as well. Another boot I love and I wear loads are these Mew Mew boots. You will have seen this in my autumn designer haul, I think. I'll link that down below. And I love that it has all these silver stud detail. I like that it hugs your legs quite well. What I find with this length kind of boot is that if it's baggy, it can end up making your legs look really short and stumpy and just not very flattering. So I like boots. If they're just above ankle length, I like the boots to be really tight and they are so, so, so comfortable. I do wear them with socks. I could honestly wear them for ages and walk loads and then the heel is definitely a very decent sized heel and it's quite chunky too. And then last but not least are these Givenchy boots. Now these boots I bought maybe two years ago now I think I actually bought them in spring and I wore them loads for something that I bought in spring because they're actually quite a versatile boot you can do the buckles up or have them undone for a more like ruggedy look I don't wear them as much as I should just because this style is just quite different for me I have quite a girly style and this is quite like biker and cool so whenever I want to wear like a leather jacket or something like that or if I actually want to dress down dress and make it look less girly and more cool this is the kind of shoe that I reach for I did find a really good dupe for these actually if it's still available online i will link them both down below so that is everything for my updated shoe collection video let me know what your favorite pair of shoes is so that i can read the comments and just get shopping maybe <laughs> i just want to know i'm so curious i feel like my shoe collection now is something that i'm very happy with i'm also going to link my makeup and earrings and jumper and everything down below i've got really good at that recently i feel like people always ask me and then i feel bad that i don't remember what i'm wearing so I've done that in the information box too. So everything you need is in the information box and I will see you in a couple days time with another video. Mwah. Bye guys.